What's up everybody, it's Zach here from The Real Shot, kinda live with Brian and Matt back there. What's up? Today we are, well today it's February 5th, and we are going to check lake access for all of you sturgeon spears out there. So we're on our way to our first spot right now, and we're gonna go see what the conditions are like, and check with some of the locals at these spots to see kinda what their knowledge is, cause it's gonna be kinda, probably better than ours at this point. Well they can cut in on Thursday, today's Tuesday, so we're going to give you the heads up on what's crack a lacking. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Matt with The Real Shot. We're standing here at Fire Lane 8 right now, and you can look behind me here and look at the conditions. Now, the guys at the landing here are telling me the conditions are pretty darn good for the most part. Uh, consistently anywhere from 12 to about 16 inches of ice for the most part all the way out. Now, they are uh, urging that there are some working cracks about a mile, two miles, possibly three miles out. We can see you got a guy going out right now. That's the problem right you see right here though. This top layer has not froze over solid yet. So you're busting through and you're keeping the ice, you know, exposed to the water that's running off. You know, Zach's got some footage of some, there's a lot of uh, water running off right now. So biggest thing is, is try not to do that as much as you possibly can. But just be safe when you're hitting all these landings up. Again, we're at Fire Lane 8. We're gonna keep moving from here. Need a wreck landing. Uh, this landing looks way better than we just when we uh, at Fire Lane 8. There's not as much runoff on this side. Now again, they're saying there's pretty good ice conditions out here. Uh, they said about 19 inches on this side, but obviously be safe. There are some areas of uncertainty, you know, less than a foot possibly. There's a huge crack that's out there. It's hard to see from here, but you can see people fishing around that crack. So. You know, just be safe when you go out of here. Um, obviously, cutting in is starts happening on Thursday. Uh, Brian's walking around in the ice right now, and he's really regretting not having his Catula spikes or any kind of cleat or anything. So, make sure to be safe. You know, depending on if we get that snow, this stuff is really, really slippery, and you don't want to get hurt. So, again, this is a Nina wreck. We're going to move on from here. <laughs> We're right here right now in their nice warm facilities. It's cold outside, 15 to 20 inches of ice. Um, so make sure you're careful when you're driving out, obviously just like other landings. Be careful around the Garlic Island area. The ice gets a little thinner as you get closer to that. Now one cool thing about the Payne's Point Hook and Spear Club is it's a $20 membership, but it helps you get out on the ice this time of year, but they have raffles and all this other fun stuff. But for $20 a year, you get access to this most important thing. Zach, follow me, look at this. Dollar beers, where else can you go? $20 a year gets you dollar lifetime memberships of beers. No, I'm just kidding, but that's your yearly membership. Well, we can't reiterate it enough. It does look really nice down here. The ice at Payne's Point is Real nice and thick, lots of shove, so be careful if you're scooting across on a sled or an ATV. It's not gonna be the best situation if you hit one of those, but if you look out here, trucks are parked out there. It's good. All right, hey everybody, we're at the uh, Duck Inn. Right now on Poygan, now we were just on Bagel, now we're on Poygan. For the most part, the landing looks really good. Now remember, this this is Tuesday, spearing happens, you can start cutting in on Thursday. The weather's supposed to get kind of inconsistent, snow, uh, colder temperatures. So what if you want to, Zach, if you want to follow me, be careful. All right, are you still filming or are we just gonna- I'm back? filming. What's going on is this is Tuesday and you can kind of see all the thaw we had. There's water underneath this top layer of ice, so it's really sketchy as you drive out. The gentleman we just spoke to said he got out around a point and was busting through. So obviously, just be safe when you head out, but hopefully the ice, everything firms up really good and solid in the next couple days. But remember, we do have potentially four to five inches of snow coming in. And now we're heading over to Nafkis. All right, now we're at Nafkis Landing. This is a crucial point we wanted to point out. I mean. These people are nice enough to make these landings in great condition, so help them out. Throw $2 in here when you go out. 
Um, the other thing too is they offer sturgeon cutting, you know, for the holes and stuff like that. All right, so we're down here at the landing. The landing looks really good for the most part. You can see where that snow is and how they kind of got it barricaded. That's a hole or a, you know, a crack. So obviously most of the trucks, the one that just came out here, went to the right of that and then just follow the tree lines. These guys work so hard to put these trees out for a reason. That's the path that's the safest. You know, like when we're at Payne's Point, they said the scouting they do early on in the year dictates where the tree line to go and the roads go because of that, you know, cracks can open up in other certain areas. So do these guys a favor. Obviously throwing two bucks in may, is minimal for how much effort it takes to make sure these landings stay in great, perfect condition for all of us using them. So for the most part, Nafki looks really, really good. And uh, we found out that we really should have spikes on because it's slippery on a lot of these landings. So just be safe again. I can't say it enough. Every video so far I end it with be safe, but you can see, I mean, there's a lot of cracks and everything like that. Otherwise, it's ready to rock for you for sturgeon spearing. All right, so we're at Asylum Bay now, and you can see a lot of the landings are showing the same kind of characteristics. The warm weather we had, all the runoff is making them, you know, sketchy in some areas. Here's some open water here. Now, there is good solid ice underneath that, but it's a little scary, obviously, when you drive over this kind of stuff. So. This is kind of what we're seeing. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of it as we move throughout the bagel system because we are back on bagel, like I said, we're at Asylum Bay. But once you look past this area shortly off the landing, the ice conditions look really good. Now we haven't drove off. There's a truck coming off around the point there, but I'm sure the conditions are just fine out there. So we're moving from here and I think we're heading over to Otter Street. Now we're at Merritt Street, standing with Don Herman, of the owner of Sunken Dive. He's going to give us the uh, the uh, conditions of not only this landing, but probably a couple other landings up and down the road. So take it over, my man. Uh, the Merritt Street landing, you know, yesterday we had water running down. And even if you go online and look at Quinney's landing, there was like a, a river running down. And uh, that that's all tightened up now. I mean, we've got this cold weather. We have cold weather coming. Merritt Street landing, we're actually going to open up Wagoo Street. Uh, Asylum Bay, we're, I'm pretty sure we're going to put a bridge out there. I mean, I'm getting a lot of comments because we always done it, but yep. you can get from Asylum Bay to our bridge off of Merritt Street. It's just a little rough ice, but you don't have to jump or crack. You can get this way off of Merritt Street. So all these landings for Surgeon Spearing, uh, we're going to have four landings. I know Payne's Point's landing's really good, Yep. but it tightened up. Stay off the roads. You know, we had our main road going out. Just stay next to it. We're, we're not going to have any roads now because there's until we get some snow, we don't have any. So if we get plow. that four to five inches that they're possibly talking about some, for some areas tonight, what do well, you think well, that's going to phase it at all? No, no. no this, actually, the snow will help it if we, you know we get warm again. Just insulate it. If we didn't have that snow on the ice here before, and we had that three forty degree weather, yep. the ice really. But it, it been really, a I mean, you look at it now, it's good, clear, solid looking yeah. ice. And you have to remember, we're only dealing with, you know, there's spots out there that are only 15 inches. Okay. And Action Fond Lac, I was out Sunday pulling those ATVs out. Yep. Where those ATV, ATVs went in that hole, there was only 11. Oh, wow. So there was a big spot out there off from the Chaparral Club, the old Chaparral Club, that uh, they only have 11. We have anywhere right here, right right here, right now, we have 21 inches. Right here. Right here. Yes. We know we know that. And then just on the other side of our bridge, where we pulled that truck out yesterday, or Sunday, we had uh, 15. Really? So, but you know, 15 is plenty. I mean, it, our bylaws are 12. Right. So, but, it, you know, it's going to be good for sturgeon spearing. If we don't get a lot of that snow, uh, they're going to have to bring snow in from someplace to cover their shack. <laughs> because earlier, you know, we said, Wait, hey, gonna it's going to be, we're going to have plenty of snow. Because last year, if you remember right, they were, they were traveling up north. People were traveling up north, grabbing a load of snow and bringing it down in their lake. Oh, sounds like Otter Street's no different. They're opening Wag Wagu or Wagu or whatever you Wagu, say. Yeah. Wagu Street. So there'll be plenty of landings for everybody. Just like we, we keep reiterating, just obviously be safe. I mean, here we're standing on 21 inches of ice close to shore, but not far out there. It could be 15 to 20 inches. So. Right, we have about that. And I just, I just, just tell everybody, just, just, you just got to pay attention. You get a, a heat wave, you get, you know, and I'm talking heat wave from zero to 35, yep. the temperature change of 25 degrees. The ice is going to change. I, yep. I'm going to tell you, 
it might crack open and might push up. Yep. But when you get, when you see it gets, if it's 10 below and the next day it gets to 30, this thing is gonna, this lake is gonna be like an earthquake. That's right. what happens every time. And that's what happened on that last year and the year before the crack opened up down the road. Yep. And everybody goes, why does it crack down the road? I get that question all the time. Because we put the road out and we have four or 5,000 cars using that road. Right. And we get a temperature change. Guess where the weakest spot is? Where, where the road is. Yeah, that's where, where all the, the. Well, hopefully, this colder weather that's in the forecast locks up a lot of these yep. landings that have that, that's not a slush I, layer, but that thin. I'm sure it will. I mean, that's we got some four below zero coming. Coming real. They're going to make more ice. Right. Especially it's only going to get better. Especially when we don't have any snow. No. It's going to make more ice. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be <laughs> awesome. So, again, thanks to Don over yep. here with uh, Sunken Dive. And just remember, be safe, but uh, good luck, Sturgeon Spearing as well. everybody we're down here at Wentz now so we're at our furthest stop on the west shore at least and the conditions at this launch are phenomenal um, no water at the landing at all plenty of thick ice no cracks now we have obviously don't know what it's like out further but there's been a two or three trucks that have piled off so Wentz is gonna be a good location to go off for this weekend um, and probably in the upcoming weekends for sure All right, you can see now we're down here at Brother Town. So we are on the East Shore now. And uh, this actually is the first launch that we've been to today that has a bridge out. This bridge is no more than 10 feet off of shore. And if you look, there's at least two good cracks right here. Now they're not as, uh, they're not very open as of this moment, or they're not very separated. But you can see if the wind would shift, you know, these would open up fast. So that's why they have the bridge here, but for the most part, this launch is in really good condition. As the days progressed, these launches have firmed up, which would make sense because the weather's getting colder. But, you know, they have a road going out. Um, tree line looks like it's going out quite a ways. So for Brother Town, this is probably gonna be another good one to pay attention to on your, on your adventures of trying to find a good landing. So our last stop for the day, we're at Stockbridge Harbor. Um, looks like here you can go out at two different locations. If you look behind me over my right shoulder, you know, that's the bolt launch for um, boats. And that one looks pretty good. Looks a little rough in some areas. We'll actually move over. There's a shack and a truck coming right now. But then um, we're down on a separate road. And like this guy's gonna show you, you can go down here and this one looks really, really good. There is a bridge out probably about 100 yards from this landing. And then they have a tree line going out of here as well. But if you watch this guy go down, it's gonna be smooth sailings here. So again, this is Stockbridge Harbor. We just came from Brother Town. That one looked really, really good as well. No problem, smooth transition. 